All right, uh, here's another demo on doing uh, using the Google Cloud Vision API. This is kind of sort of uh, like the same demo I did with the Google Cloud uh, Speech API. But all we're going to do is just load an image and uh, send it to Google and see what we get back. So the first thing you should do is crank up Visual Studio, build a simple WinForm that has a button and a text box set up for uh, multi-line input. Okay, run this. Should look something like that. Okay. Uh, once we get that done, we need to install the Google Cloud Vision API DLLs into this particular project. So I'm going to go copy here, go up to Tools, NuGet Manager, Package Manager Console. this up. As you can see in here I've already done this once uh, and it was in another video but the other video didn't show the little window wind form popping up so I'm redoing this video. Anyway you do paste, hit enter, okay already exists. So this this is what you should have seen scroll through the screen but as you can see right there but this is demo number two all right so we can come back and uncomment our code we need to use the cloud vision api and then what you're going to see here is essentially identical uh, to the C sharp code example that's in the SDK, the cloud Google Cloud Vision API example page. Okay, let's go with image one. Now, what I've previously done is put a couple of images in my bin debug directory named image one. Uh, jpeg image 2.jpg image 3.jpg so those files are already in that directory where this application gets compiled and deployed to so you're going to have to make sure you have some images in that directory and you're going to have to make sure that you replace this or the code will fail all right so we have detect labels we're going to send this off to google's and let's see what happens. Now, our, uh, the code's already worked on the, this other about 10 minutes ago when I did this. So I'm just doing another video so you can see this screen. Click the button, shoots it off to Google, and it gives us this back in the text box. So car, automotive exterior, vehicle, auto, automobile, make residential area so let's go in and let's look at what that image looks like so we go into bin debug and image one ta-da so this is just a shot I had taken a long time ago and it's looking out uh, in the Galveston Bay, which you can't see, and it's just got some cars in there. Okay, so this is relatively simple. Uh, it's uh, actually it was an easier demo than the uh, voice to text because uh, we didn't have to actually take a picture and send it. We just had these. I'm sorry, the, the other example, we had to record audio. 
and I wanted that to work right. So uh, this again it's just a very simple demo and what we can do is we can try three which I think is a cat picture Let's see what it does cat mammal small mammal home I know it's kind of interesting so they go open file. And image three. So it's interesting. It was a fuzzy cat. It was inside my old uh, kitchen. There's the cat sitting there. And that seems to work pretty good. Uh, I've had some people ask me about these demos. Uh, they're having errors trying to get the code to run and what everybody needs to understand is that the you have to have already installed the Google Cloud uh, API SDK on your machine on for instance this development machine I don't know exactly what's going on in the back end um, but uh, it not only drops the binaries that you need, some of the binaries, but you also have to open up the Google uh, command window and type in gcloud something or other. I can't remember. It All that has to be done first before you can even think about making these calls in C sharp on your machine. Uh, so you have to do the homework on that and get that working. Google uh, talks about how to do that when you go and pull these examples, uh, some of this code down, and they walk you through that. And you have to make sure that is working. I don't know if they're doing anything registering the particular machine that this code is running on but I can imagine with Google as you can see this is v1 pre-release all this stuff could uh, potentially change but I had also turned on a lot of the cloud APIs I had en enabled a lot of them so the vision and the speech are already on I can't remember the other ones that are, that are also in the list I basically turned everything on uh, in order to uh, try this code out and get it to work. So anyway, I'm going to post this. I, I, I'm not really going to do anything with GitHub on this. Uh, this is so simple. It, it'll take you less time to just build a win form and type this in than it will be to go to GitHub and um, you know download download the code uh, thanks to that effect so anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, I'm going to try to have more videos on things like this but uh, thank you for your time and good luck to you